welcome back to Art by Alexis. Um, this is one of my super cool crew necks. Um, I went ahead and took some pictures today um, with a few friends um, that were wearing some of my clothes so that I can post them and launch in a week, I'm thinking. <laughs> so that's really excited. By the time you're watching this, it might already be up. Um, make sure to check at Art by Alexis T on Instagram to see if it is, if you're interested. Um, but this is my new art room. I moved into an apartment that has two bedrooms and me and my boyfriend share one. So I do, I have my own art room and I'm so excited. Um, so I just want to show you guys what it looks like and maybe take you through the process of when I design it, when I decorate it, um, to make it a fun little art studio. So... <laughs> This is my first painting that I did on my easel. My easel is new. My sister gave it to me for Christmas. Um, let me put this down so I can show you. Um, this is her. <laughs> I think she's so cute. Um, I really challenged myself with this painting actually. So my inspiration is Gloria from the Lumineers. Um, I listen to the Lumineers a lot and their last album, you know, on YouTube. If you watch all of the music videos of the songs, it's like a story. Um, I think the model's super interesting. She's super beautiful. She's just, I don't know. I just have wanted to paint her since I watched those. So I decided to. So I looked at a black and white photo. And so I thought of these colors myself. I had so much fun painting it. It took me about an hour. Um, and I'm just ridiculously happy with it. So she's still drawing. I did this like three or four days ago. And she's still kind of wet. <laughs> so. That just shows you how much oil paintings need to dry. I also found this chair at the DI for $8. I think it's so cute. Um, this blue is like my favorite color and I found it for only $8. I think I may paint the wood white just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, these doors are gonna be painted gray because right now I'm painting all of my cupboards. It's taking me forever, but it's gonna look so cute. Um, I did just buy this at Walmart. Usually they're like, I, don't know, I think like 15 or $20. Um, but I got it for $5 because the back of it was broken, but I don't care, I just taped it. And now it has all of my art supplies in it. So this is like the first step I've taken to organize my art studio. This first drawer here is um, tools. I have some gloss, I have a little easel in there, some tape, some scissors, things like that. Um, and then in this drawer, I have my, you know, like paints, watercolors. I have some stamp stuff. Um, I have ink, colored pencils. This is like all of my art, um, like charcoal, you know, all the things I use. And then in the bottom, I have things like, yep, <laughs> this is, this is why it was cheap. Um, why is it not going in? Here we go. Okay. Um, and then this one at the bottom is like papers. I have some boards, you know, that I could paint on. Um, I have like tan tone paper. I have some books, some just regular tan paper. Um, so that's kind of supplies. So that's as far as I go into organizing. Um, up here on these shelves, I have my sketchbooks. I have notebooks. Um, and I'm gonna try to get a shelf in here though, cause I would like to have them like on my wall when you walk in. Um, my two self portraits over there. I would like those up somewhere. So <laughs> it's gonna be lots of fun. I'm really excited. But we're gonna put together my art room. Um, so, I mean, I have a lot of things, you know, like over here I have like some cardboard, I have my screen printing stuff. Over here, I mean, I have a lot of canvases, I wanna put them up. Um, I've already organized a lot of my stuff in my closet um, and put some sketchbooks on my shelf. So let me show you these. So I wanted to get some command strips to be able to put up all this artwork in my room. Um, and so we went to family, not family dollar, Dollar Tree, and I got these foam mounting tape so it's light command strips um but they're from the dollar store i'm hoping they work canvases aren't that heavy um because they're also not framed um though i did see a diy of how to frame your own canvases i'm gonna do that sometime because that sounds like a lot of fun and it makes them look really nice um so we're gonna use this 
Um, I got this bin from the Dollar Tree to put some of my acrylic paints in because they're just kind of loose in this basket. Um, so hopefully I have the right angle so you guys can see, you know, what I'm working on here. Um, and so let's get organizing. seen this on Pinterest before it's really easy um, I've never done it but I'm assuming I mean it's gonna be pretty easy so the plan I went to Home Depot well first <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree because I needed a few things from Walmart and we live like right up in the Dollar Tree now and there are some great things at the Dollar Tree like great like there are some things I needed and I found like everything I needed at the Dollar Tree for a dollar so, um, first let me just show you the, some things that I got. So first they have some canvases. They're probably like, I mean, it was a dollar, so it's probably really cheap, but I just got one of them so I can try it. It's just something to paint on. Um, I got this envelope. This has a piece of art I'm sending to a customer. Um, I got this for a dollar. Look how cute. This looks like something that you would buy, like, in a really cute, like, boutique for like $20, but I got it for a dollar decoration cute um now i also got some tacks for the bulletin board i put up so i can put my art up there and then i got this cute little just like you know this is for my tax um because i'm gonna have a ton of extra plus this is also for my extra binder clips if i need them i got binder clips for the diy um so here's the diy i went to home depot to try to find a board like a piece of wood, but they didn't have one that was small enough. So I went to my grandpa's house and I, bar I borrowed one of his. Um, so this is like the perfect size, I think. <laughs> um, so the DIY is to have a piece of board, nails for a dollar, um, put nails in them, and then you hang your tubes of paint on it with, so you have your nail on it and then you hang it with a binder clip. So it's like, I mean, that's so cute. Cause I mean, I keep all of these like in a bag in the closet. So I'm gonna put them on the wall, like next to where I paint my oil paints. And then I'll probably have like three extra nails down here for like whatever I want to hang, I don't know. Um, now I think I want to paint this yellow. Cause I think that brings some fun pop of color in here. I want it really colorful in here, all fun and artsy and stuff.
so this is the new and improved art room um no longer a mess so when we walk in you know we have most of the paintings hanging up the rest of my paintings are just gonna be chilling um kind of so you can see them but you know i didn't want to put them in the closet just away um so in my closet you know here we have my sketchbooks those are my acrylic paints and tiny tubes i have my backpack um, I have my tote bags, um, and then behind the door is where I put up my bulletin board. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I found this bulletin board at the DI for $2, so what's up? <laughs> um, that flower is my first tattoo. Um, that is what they used to put on my arm. These are other things I've done. I did this at work the other day. <laughs> that cute girl. Um... And then over here we have my screen printing stuff. So you can see my screen, my my screen, my inks, my squeegee, things like that. And here I put my old artwork. So I have like old paintings on small canvases. My iPad, I have some of my brushes, that cute thing I just bought. Sunny days ahead. I think that's so cute in here. Um, I got that sunny days ahead at Target for $1. Yes, one dollar. Um, I have my art oracles here if you've seen this. Um, it's like tarot cards but with artists. Continuing along, I have my easel in the corner. Um, I have more paintings on this side. I just found some more paintings. This you can see is not on a real canvas. We had to cut it out because I didn't have room on my trip to take all my canvases so I had to cut some out. Um, so those ones I decided to hang up. There's Gloria over here. There's what I just built. I'm not gonna lie, it could be cuter. Um, but I think it's just because I painted over paint with some like cheap acrylic paint. So, I mean, the paint's a little bit sketchy, but the idea is super cute. So if you try harder, it will be cuter than this, <laughs> but I still really enjoy it. Um, that painting's upside down because I just painted the, the bottom of it. And then the last section here is just this really, actually really nice cardboard box. Um, I have things in here like this big piece of cardboard, some more cardboard. I have my big pads of paper in here, drawing paper, newsprint, um, and then some of my other canvases I had to rip up. So that's my whole art room tour. Um, we make do with what we've got. I got this chair at $8 for the DI if I have not told you yet. So that's really super cool. Um, I think it's perfect for an art chair. And then, yeah, that's my art room. I'm really excited. You know, we're gonna put some more stuff up. That completes my art room tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the cleaning process um, because I did. Today, I just kind of spent all day cleaning and organizing and I feel really accomplished. And it's a lot cuter in here. Everything's not on the floor in a mess. I'm really excited about my art room. I feel really lucky. I feel super lucky that I'm able to have a room all to myself with my art. I've honestly dreamed of this day. I mean, this isn't like the studio I ever dreamed of, but it's, I mean, it's more than enough for me. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We do lots of fun art things, DIYs and paintings. Um, also, my site is launched. Um, it launched on February 1st. It is shopartbyalexis.com. Um, <laughs> so. I was trying to think of my website. And you can buy prints, hoodies, um, beanies. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.